Hey guys, Carly here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm going to be talking about basically how to overcome trials. Um, and basically, you know, um, if you're not sure exactly what that is, like basically overcoming trials in your life, you know, when something bad happens, you know, something that you have don't really have any control over, whether it's losing a job or losing a loved one financial problems, divorce, family problems, like whatever it is, that's basically what it is and um, you know and it can be very hard, it can um, really hurt a person, destroy a person's faith, it can make them depressed or um, or, any, or something like that and mess with your emotions and it's a hard thing. I've been through trials myself, you know, I've lost, I got lost a job, I've lost people and you know, and sometimes it, it's hard because it's hard to, that's, that's usually when a lot of people wind up testing their faith because of something like this and you fall away from God and you don't understand what has happened and, um, you know, a lot of people don't understand this, how, you know, when people say, well, um, this is a blessing, this is, you know, it, this is supposed to bring you joy, when really, that's, most people won't think of that, but, um, you know, so it's hard to understand how you can get through the pain and struggle of something like that, of going through a difficult trial like that, and, um, you know, but, you know, you should know that no matter what, you should know that God is always there, and you should know that God, nothing is ever too big for God to handle, um, no matter what the trial is that you're facing, and this is the time when you're facing a trial, this is the best time to seek God and not fall away from Him and fall away from your faith. And um, don't you can't ever doubt Him, you know, because no matter what, He is there for you and loves you. And a lot of most of the times, the trials turn out to be good because you get blessed with something else and things work out and you get something even better. And then this trial and whatever this bad thing happens turns out to be a blessing and you become filled with joy. I've seen that happen in many occasions with many people I know and because you should just know that God always has a plan for you no matter what it is and he has your back um, through anything. So there's you know there's also some things you can do that can help you get through this hard, hard time that may make it a little easier for you um, you know and you know so that's just what I'm gonna mo mostly be um, talking about. So, first thing that you can do is just pray. Um, sometimes, just the most you can do. There's really nothing that's in our control. If you just talk to God and just believe that He hears you, and because He does, He really does. And if you're scared to pray and you're afraid, don't know what to say, that's okay. You can just say anything. God is there and He's, he's listening no matter what. And when you pray him and you seek him, then you'll see. Then that's when you'll see that it will get better, and you'll see that these trials will will get better, and something in your life will change when you pray. And so this is really the best time to seek God more and more, and not lose your faith in Him or doubt Him. Um, that's just something always good to do. And another thing is exercise. I mean, it's exercise is proven to release stress and anxiety, which can be triggered by a trial that happens in your life. You know, if you're, you know, the best thing to do is exercise. I mean, like, exercise really releases stress off of you in a way. And whether, you know, it can be any kind of exercise, even if it's going for a walk, you know, it's a good, it helps you clear your mind. It help you, helps you focus on the positives. And it, you know, a lot of people don't realize like how strong exercising can help and it really can um, and something, something else that's good to do is just find a hobby you know just do something that you love whether it's cooking or writing or dancing or you know reading whatever it is that you love to do just do it and just keep doing it as much as you need to because this is if you do your, these hobbies and the things you love this will help you make, make you happy and it will help relieve your fears and you know, and help you get through some of the worst days, and help relieve that stress that you're having while you're going face, while you're facing this trial, and you know, so it's always so good to do that. Not 
don't neglect your hobbies. A lot of times doing your hobbies makes things better and just makes you enjoy your life better and enjoy your time better and you just don't focus on it so much. And you could also talk to someone. I think that's a very good thing to do, you know, whether it's counseling or therapy or whatever it is. There's nothing wrong with talking to someone. It's always great to talk to someone and get help. And a lot of times it always makes it better. Um, it definitely helps me when I talk to someone, um, you know, and to have that support from somebody else. It can be anyone you trust, anyone you know that won't judge you. You know, and holding everything in all the time will just cause you to erupt and ex and just make you get worse so it's never good to hold your feelings in it's always good to let it out it really just makes you feel so much better about the situation and comfortable and makes that trial easier for you to face it and overcome it so just always talk to somebody and I think something else you can do is meditate um, it's not something that you can do it's up to you if you want to do it or not but it's 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 proven to really work and to help people feel a little more relaxed and special and help really stress and stuff like that you know you just find your time in the day that works for you you know meditating is just simply is simple you just sit on the floor and cross your legs and just do some deep breathing just you know you can and you can just breathe slow and just count count to five or whatever just keep counting and counting and and then you just fo clear your mind and just focus on things that make you happy and don't focus on the negative things that are happening and what you're facing right now just focus on anything positive, you know, and you can use this time to pray too if you want. And this meditation is known to really also release stress and anxiety as well as exercise. Um, so these are just some things you could think about and do to help f when you're facing going through these trials to help make it easier and overcome them, you know. And just remember, you know, even it says this in uh, Romans 8. Um, that says, you know, if God is for us, then who could be against us? And that is true. God is never against us and will never turn away. And the best thing, the, per the best per thing is the person that's going to help you get through these trials is Jesus, really. He's the answer to everything. He's the one who will solve your problems. He will help you in any, in any way he can. Um, and even and in James um, 1, 2, Chapter 1, um, 2, and 3, it says, you know, consider it pur pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And it does. It makes your faith strong and renews it. I faced many trials in my life, and it just improved my faith, made it stronger, because I saw God come through for me with these trials, and, got, and it got better and he blessed me with different things and he will do that for you too so just always remember that and know that God will come through at the right time and that he has better plans for you and so just think about these things that I said if you're facing a trial and try to do some of these things and they and just know that God is there for you and he will help you so it's just good to trust in him and to just look to Jesus in this kind of situation so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can um, see my other videos on my YouTube channel. If you subscribe, I would appreciate that. And you can comment and like them too as well. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys.